K4 I start today's Retro Arch and main 2016 setup guide for Windows PC. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too, for which I'm always really appreciative of. So first of all, you're probably wondering why I'm doing such a dated main ROM set. So let's just say not everyone has the space to have the latest up to date main ROM set. So in addition to that I'm also going to show you how to set up some very awesome bezels to make our main games look really awesome. So what I'm going to be doing then is showing you everything here. What we're going to do first is head over to this github page and I'll leave the link in my description for this. This is Duomon Mega Bezel. All you need to do just here is go down to releases version 1.1.7.0 just left click on that one and from here if we scroll down just download the Duomon Mega Bezel just here the dot zip left click on that one so it downloads into a zip folder so the precise ROM set I'm using for this is a main 2016 reference full non merge ROM set so what we're going to do first of all after downloading that Mega Bezel dot zip just here so we can see we've got it uh, what I'm going to do is just extract the folder inside of here onto my desktop Okay, so once you finish extracting that from the zip folder, what we're going to do is go into the RetroArch folder. So as you can see, I'm using a portable version of this. What we need to do with this is go into the shaders folder and I'm going to create a new folder here. So just right click new folder and I'm going to call this folder mega underscore bezel underscore packs. Okay, so next thing we're going to look at is the main 2016 reference set itself. So we got two folders with inside of that downloads. We'll have a ROMs folder and we also got a samples folder. Both of these need to be added into RetroArch in order for particular games to work. So particular games will require samples to go alongside the ROM file. For example, if I open up ROM just here, I've got a few games from the 2016 ROM set. One of these in particular is 005. It's a game. If we just attempt to play this in RetroWatch on its own without the sample file to go with it, it's not going to play. So if we go into the samples folder here, as you can see, I've got 005.zip, so exactly the same. But like I say, for this particular game and many other games in the samples folder, things won't work. So what we're going to do then is start adding things into the RetroWatch directory. So if I go to RetroWatch again, what I'm going to do just here is create a new folder, right click new folder and I'm going to call this folder MAME and in that main folder I'm going to just drag those inside of that main folder I've just created. Next up we need to put the sample files somewhere, they're not going to go into that main folder, where they are going to go is down to the system folder. I'm going to create in the system folder a main folder and I'm going to go inside of that main folder and create another folder called samples and the sample.zips that you've got from the main ROM 2016 ROM set are actually going to go into there so if I go into my samples folder and drag in my 005.zip and that's it so what we're going to do next then is open up RetroArch so if I just scroll down and open up RetroArch and I'm using an Xbox controller for this, which works really well. What I'm going to do from here is just first of all turn this into full screen. So settings, down to video, full screen mode. And if I press my A button, here we go. So we're now in full screen. I'm pressing my B button to come out of here. The next thing we're going to want to do is come out by pressing B button. And we're going to want to import the main game. So what I'm using here is my D-pad and I'm going to go to import content and I'm going to go down to manual scan using my D-pad. Press A with my Xbox controller. Content directory, I'm going to go into my C drive. And from C drive, if I press up on my D-pad, I'm going to go down to users and press A to go in here. If I then go down to my systems folder, which is Jamie, uh, I'm then going to go down to desktop, which is where my RetroArch folder is. If I just select RetroArch, 
From here, I'm going to scroll down and find my main folder, which is where my main ROMs are. I'm going to go to scan this directory, and if I then press up on my D-pad, which will bring us to the bottom of manual scan, press A. Scan complete, and if I come out by pressing B, so we can see our main games now, and specifically 005 is only presented there as one file. That's because we created that samples folder and we put the extra file in there. So that's all good and working. Next thing we need to do is actually download a core. And I think for 2016, people can get a little bit confused because under the online updater, core downloader, uh, we're going to come across arcades just here, and we're going to find main 2000, main 2003, main 2010. There's actually no main 2016. It's actually arcade main just here, which is current, and that works fine with this particular ROM set. This is one you need to use. So that's now been installed, as we can see. If I press my B button to come out, and I then scroll down to my main games, let me just give you an example. Uh, if we open up 005, which requires a sample file, if I go down to run, as we can see, this is working perfectly. So what I'm going to do next then is just go down to MAME and we're going to open up a game. Now that we've got a core downloaded, everything should be working fine. So let's just start off with uh, Double Dragon 3. If I go to this by pressing A, what I'm next going to do is go down to Set Core Association and make sure Arcade MAME is selected. So our main 2016 reference set opens up each game using this particular core. So that's now been set, and what we're next going to do is go up to run, and that should then play the game. Mission. Okay, so I'm going to press my F1 button and we're next up going to look at applying those mega bezels. So by pressing F1, this is going to bring up the RetroWatch quick menu. If I press down on my D-pad, it brings us to the bottom. From here, what I'm going to do is go up to shaders, press A, and I'm going to enable video shaders by pressing A. What we're going to next do is go down to load preset. And just here, we're going to find that Mega Bezel Packs folder, which we created. Here's the Duel on Mega Bezel folder. And just here, if we then go down to Presets, we're going to find three folders here. We've got Advanced, Light, and Standard. So if you're using a lower-end computer, use Light. What I'm actually going to do is just go for Standard. And just here, we're going to find lots of folders here. So not only does this pack work for arcade games, but it's also going to cater for most other systems that RetroArch supports. So if I go into the arcades folder, I'm going to find some files just here at Slang GP. What I'm going to do is just apply the top one here by pressing a and it's going to appear that your computer is frozen so don't get too freaked out this is just applying this okay so once that's been applied if we press b button and again to come out into the game if we go up to quick menu and resume <laughs> Okay, so next up, if we go back down to shaders within the quick menu for RetroArch, what we're going to do is go down to load preset again and back into Mega Bezel, do a more Mega Bezel pack. Back down to presets. This time I'm going to go into the advanced folder. Now we've not only got arcade to use, but we've actually got a main folder here as well. If I go into main just here, and this time I'm going to select main advanced guest cabinet. Okay, so once that's applied, if we press B, quick menu resume.
so there's different mixed results between video drivers using these mega bezels so if you find the game is running too fast or it's running too slow through quick menu and by the way if you're using an xbox controller just press your xbox button that bring you into quick menu just go down to settings video output and try changing the video here to Vulcan or some other driver and hopefully your game should then be working a little bit smoother. Personally, I find GL Core or GL perfect for this, but other people have argued that Vulcan is the best. So whatever works for you really. And something else you need to do is obviously save everything you're doing. So when you're working with RetroArch, main menu, configuration file, save current configuration, and that's it for today's RetroArch and main ROM set 2016. I've also included Do Em On Bag Battles to get you the best look. So going back to the emulator itself, or rather RetroArch, uh, as you've seen, the gameplay just there was all pretty much in 4x3 aspect ratio. If that's what you're getting, just go into video settings and change it over to full, and everything should then literally present in full screen. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe, and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulators emulation content also be sure to check out my retro watch playlist i'll pin that in my comment section so you can check out retro watch setup guides i've done previously anyways join me on social media i'm on facebook twitter instagram and tiktok but until next time stay retro